Hey everyone, it is me, RevDX here. Welcome back to another exciting video. Now, I did change my mind that I was not going to do like a four, four videos today. But I'm going to do a three videos um tomorrow. And I hope you guys like them. Alright, so let's begin with the video. For me, the most important issue is jobs. There's no All right. Donald Trump has built so, economy ever seen. And I know that I, I just uh, know that that sometimes uh, I I do the ad though. And also this is uh Papa Gino's intro. I wish I have like a my um intro as well, but anyways, yeah. Also, this video is going to talk about the final four DLC challengers that I want that that I wanted to predict. Now, count me out. Now, I think this is like that. That, that I'm just. I'm not gonna like, you know, be mean to this video. I'm just going to be like doing fun speculation for stuff like that. But anyways. Pre-ordered them, so these came in the mail to me. So sorry, unlike the usual Pop Amiibos videos, I'm not just going to get wildly off topic and talk about whatever and tell stories and stuff. I actually have a lot to say about Amiibos right now, so I'm going to talk so about So shout out that. to Papa Gino's. Like right he did a good job on the predicting the final four, rather you call fighters or characters, because I call DLC characters. But yeah, uh, he did a good job to... Um, to the, the so final prediction on the final four DLC characters. So, look to that, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I did get the Joker and Hero Amiibos. Um, here's, here's Joker. Yes. And like I said, Hero. Um, I might go and get like it Joker until uh, I really the, like, this month or somewhere around near my birthday. Um, Hero, because because like I think I pre-ordered it. So yeah, that's kind of I guess. understand production's expensive and everything like that. So unfortunately, Hero is just the Dragon Quest XI protagonist, which isn't my favorite alt for Hero anyway. So yeah, I definitely like the Joker one better out of this uh, this bunch. Oh uh, yeah, and spoilers, you know. Yes, and he made a question. It's clear plastic boxes and then stack them up. It looks really cool and honestly, it's pretty solid. Yeah, it looks it's cool. I like his collection. So it reminds me of like you know, kind of like the wall. roster so itself. So I can you have to choose. You know, but that goes to for Alex. Steve and Alex, maybe because of like they're all like collab, kind of like the ice cream was it, but I'm not so sure about the player two right there. But yeah, I think the player one is available though. No. Maybe Alex as well on there. Or they could do something like Game & Watch, maybe. Have them, like, swap out Yeah. Alex, they could do um, something like that with his, like, like, you know, I don't know. The base it comes with or something like that, much like Game & Watch has. Maybe that'd be a cool way to do it. Yeah. Out of the rest of those first Fighter Pass Amiibos that we've seen, my favorite is Banjo. I really like that they incorporated the Jiggy into the base. I think that's really cool. So yesterday, Nintendo yeah, the Jiggy. Out New Super Smash Bros. series hashtag Amiibo. So yeah, I think this is the big part right here that we need to talk about this Final Four Predictions video. The thing about is that 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 I really want to get the Banjo Amiibo like until like Fall 21. Yeah, I thought it was going to be somewhere like near like the springtime. But then Nintendo actually deleted the tweet, so I don't know but if it yeah. was a mistake to show that image. Yeah, I think it's the only Or if it's completely wrong and they aren't coming out fall 2021. But the tweet was deleted. Fall yeah, rappers like, ways they off. made so by accident or wrong, or maybe totally they could be right. Production and everything right I now, just don't know. It might actually take that long. 
we are getting Mario and Monster Hunter Amiibos. Much Mario, yes. I'm going to so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Also, I would definitely want to get the Monster Hunter Amiibos so, as well. One theory I've heard is maybe they meant Ooh. these three Amiibo will Ooh. be released by fall 2021. So maybe Banjo by will come fall. out in the spring, Terry in the summer. See, yeah, so it's kind of like, by the way, it's Basically, uh, spring, just a it's Terry in the summer, and then finally, by the it's coming in fall. Discord, sad news as always from Nintendo, but our beloved Amiibo Theory will not be of much use to us anymore, as it appears the next wave of Smash Amiibos are coming out in fall of 2021, though we can still expect a new fighter before then. Then it was edited to say, the tweet has been deleted, Amiibo Theory may perhaps be on life support. So Amiibo Theory has been really good at guessing around the time. Yeah, the Amiibo the Theory... Smash, yeah, I definitely agree to Papa Gino's. I think it's a good history legacy theory about like when the, our next character is going to read. And this is where we got our last thing, which is the arms presentation, because people were saying, oh, which is reminds me of rather is like Spring Man or Spring Tron. Which just seems like th that that could be like the case was going on with this arms fighter six theory as well, and you know it's funny like Steve Steve has like you know I think it's like a fit like to Smash yes. Like them or not, Me honestly, too. Papa so Gino's. I don't know, if you're out there, yeah, I'm totally like Nintendo liking this video. So I'm really happy where Smash Speculation is right now. It honestly feels like it did back before Byleth, when just about any character was possible, and people were anticipating just about any anybody. It was really exciting, and that's how it feels again now. So I figure it's a good time to do some lighthearted, for fun yes. smash speculation and make a prediction for the final four characters while things feel exciting and the possibilities are open. Or right, before we go, guys, I don't want to get my hopes up, but here are my final four. Pre but here's uh, my final Keep four predictions. Now, spoilers. Now, I did see the clip there, but I think you're going to um, see Oh, what is this? Remember, it says now in development. This is this is when like they had is like kind of like you know, kind of like now in development. Now it's kind of like the season two. This is it CGA's? The the video game or has does make sense. Maybe. maybe. It's hot pot. So it's completely possible nothing happens at the Game Awards Smash Wise, but I still think it's the earliest date I could see a Smash character actually being shown off. If the Game Awards does have a reveal, I think it would just be a reveal. I did, it, yes. It's, it's going to be familiar like Joker. Like Joker. We would have to wait the teaser. for the fighter to actually be released. Like teaser. Like, like, and then I believe that he came out in like February 17th. Which that means is like five days. So, so it's like March, which is means it's like a fourth month ago since like we got the Joker reveal, or I should say it five per month before we got the Joker reveal. So like between Joker and Mimi, they have the like arms. Segment. I did want to say that the only quick best bet. E e e three. And, and I believe that Steve was originated to be the E three cancel announcement, which is Twitter got broke the end. So this is might be like the prediction here. Here's why it's going to happen. For DLC 8, I think it's going to come out until, like, probably, like, February 21. I'm not so sure about January 21, but maybe it's a possibility or March. So, the final character that I'm thinking right now... 
Smash Ultimate Anniversary. Smash Bros. Ultimate anniversary. anniversary? That's why I'm thinking right now. Whatever is the Smash Bros. Ultimate Anniversary, maybe it's a part that, like, this is the time frame that we could get a E3 announcement. But I think that's my personal All right, guys. Here's my final prediction of it. So, for spoilers, yes, he put on Ryu Hayabusa, Crash, Dante, Gino. Now, for all people that you don't know, I'm going definitely going to make it to my own big order. All right. So, I'm thinking that the final four characters that it might be, which means, yeah, I'm for sure that DLC 9 might be in E3, and then the DLC 10 might be in the September place. But yeah, we'll wait and see though. I mean, who knows? It could happen. All right. So, for DLC 7, y yes. DLC 11, yes. It's going to be in the Smash University. Right, so, let me say this quick. So, all right. DLC 8, Gino. DLC 9, probably I'm leaning towards to a Zelda character or a Gen 8 rep. Then, DLC 10. It could be Rayman, because I'm rooting for Rayman to be, like, in Smash. Between to Klonoa, yes, is a possibility that we're definitely going to get another Bandai that low rep. If we don't get Klonoa in this game, then I would say that it would be Soul Calibur. And then the final character, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that one of them might be Ryu Hayabusa, Doom Guy. Or Date. I think that's my final thoughts to it. But I don't think two guys come in this match. But it's a possibility chance. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching on this video. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace. Bye.